personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so there, there, there's there's two storylines within the actual fight that are definitely worth talking about, and, and two things I, I kind of want to sound off on when it comes to what took place in the ring between Plant and Benavides. And, and uh, the first the first of those subjects is Kenny Bayless. Now. I've never really been a big Kenny Bayless guy. I, I personally think Kenny Bayless has always been, you know, a shady referee. You know, I always have, I still, I still have PTSD from when he was refereeing the Floyd Mayweather Marcos Maidana fight. And, you know, it, it's still to me one of the most egregious things to this very day that he allowed Mayweather to get, to get away with so much holding it. And it took away from what could have been a really good rematch, you know, in my, in my humble opinion. But uh, never really been a big fan of him because sometimes Bayless has a way of making himself the star of the fight when he's not supposed to be the star of the fight. Same thing with like referees like Joe Cortez, who's done that a couple times in his career. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I thought I thought Benavidez was very gracious to uh, Bayless in the post-fight press conference. Like he didn't he didn't say like, oh, Kenny Bayless ruined my night or make excuses. Like no, he he, he said, you know, it was what it was. He didn't he didn't down Kenny Bayless. And I, I, I actually gained respect for him. He was pretty classy in the post-fight press conference, right, Dave Benavidez. Um, but yeah, like in, in a sense, right? Like Kenny Bayless robbed Benavidez of a more emphatic outcome, of a more emphatic performance. You know, like because truthfully, I, I think I, I haven't really seen that much holding from any fighter in boxing since Andre Ward was fighting. And y'all know how I feel about Andre Ward. I couldn't stand Andre Ward because all he ever did was hold. You know, like like he was at his high school prom. So that being said, uh, yeah, like. Kenny Bayless saved Caleb Plant from really getting beat the hell up. I mean, he got beat the fuck up anyway. He got beat up badly. He got beat up for pillar to post. He got the piss beaten out of him. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But I'm saying, had Bayless not allowed Plant to constantly hold and hug and clinch and con his way through the fight and foul, there's no doubt in my mind Dave Benavides would have put the exclamation point on the fight and stopped him. So... You know, like, look, I, I know after the after the fight during the live, you know, I was very spirited. I was talking a lot of shit about, you know, like, Canelo would do this and Canelo would do that. And he very, he, he still might be he, uh, De De Benavidez, but I'm not going to hold. I'm not going to hold him not stopping Caleb Plant against Benavidez because the reality is Caleb Plant held a lot, like, excessively, like, to the point where he should have had a point or two taken away from him. It, 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 was, it was it was pretty bad. So I just, I just wanted to throw that out there. And um, I wanted to really just uh, speak my piece on that. Now, kind of staying within the same realm, but it's, it's, it's a bit of a different topic, is Caleb Plant's holding. I see a lot of people complaining about Caleb Plant's holding, right? Which, listen, when you're, when you're in the ring, it's, it's survival of the fittest. It's, it's, it's just you're trying to get through the rounds however you can. So, like, sometimes you're going to meet a guy who's going to challenge your stamina and take you to those deep, dark, uncomfortable places you've never been. Or that you're not, or, or that you don't like being in, and you're gonna have to, you know, find a way to get through those rounds. And if 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 the referee allows you, the fighter whose life is on the line, to get through the rounds to hold as much as you want, then gosh darn it, you're gonna do it. You, and that's what Caleb Plant did. So I can't I can't fault Caleb Plant for that. But what what I will say is, I think there's some blatant double standards in boxing. Like, and I see this a lot. Like when Andre Ward was fighting, and, and kind of going back to Andre Ward. When Andre Ward was fighting, he held, like, all the time. It never ended. Like, it, he just couldn't stop holding. I felt like I was always at watching somebody at high school prom every time I watched Andre Ward fight, you know? And he got praised for it. People said he was pound for pound great. Shakur Stevenson, low blowing the fuck out of Robinson Cutsensel. He's done, uh, he's, done, he's done a lot of fouls in that fight. Nothing really happened to him. Gets praised as a pound for pound great. Devin Haney. Holding like crazy against uh, a couple of opponents he's fought. Uh, like George and, yeah, like George Cambosis Jr. Gets praised as a pound for pound great. So what I'm saying is this. I'm not trying to down those guys. They're all talented. They're all top grade fighters. But, like, if you're going to down Caleb Plant for holding, and, he, and you should. I'm not saying you should. You definitely should. Then why don't we hear the same sort of outrage for guys like in the sport right now like Haney. When he's holding, or Andre Ward when he was fighting, or Shakur when he's doing low blows, 
I just see a lack of consistency and people like to pick and choose. So, you know, just, just keep it consistent. Keep it consistent because Caleb Plant was, was bad. It was excessive, but he ain't the first fighter of this generation to do excessive holding. So the next time I see Devin Haney in a fight, like if Devin Haney fights Lomachenko, and I see Devin Haney constantly holding the fuck out of Lomachenko like he's at high school prom, or like at, like he's at a, at, a, at a quinceanera or a fiesta, you know, I'm gonna have to hear, I, I need to hear from the box one. I need, I need to hear that same outrage because, you know, um, I'm, I'm just not hearing it. And, 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 I, and I wanna get to a place in boxing where we have more consistent fans, you know? When, when when bullshit like this happens, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Ke if you don't take nothing from this video, Kenny Bayless saved Caleb Plant. And Caleb Plant is not the worst thing when it comes to holding. If anything, he's just the same as Andre Ward and he's just the same, the same as Devin Haney. Treat him as such. Those are the only things I want you guys to take, take from this video. So, uh, yeah, on that note, you guys can uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. The, the support this year on the channel has just been unreal. So, let's definitely keep it going and, and 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 push this thing to the stratosphere man because uh i'm really excited for what we got coming up here on the channel and i hope you guys enjoy what's coming up on the channel but uh yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below take the time to subscribe and like i say in every single one of these videos you can love me or you can hate me but i'm just kidding from daniel so until next time take care guys thank you for watching another video on the untouchable true school sports empire for more great boxing content just like this video click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.